Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automatically sign into your Mac OS device without the need to enter in a password. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So please keep in mind this tutorial is not about resetting your password if you forgot it or trying to modify or gain access to a Mac that is not yours. This is if you have the password but you don't feel like entering it in every time your computer restarts. So just want to put that up front right in the beginning because some people get confused on videos like this but I'm going to be explicitly clear with that. If you're trying to do something you're not supposed to that is not this tutorial. If you forgot your password, that is not this tutorial. If you're here just because you don't want to enter your password back in every time your computer restarts, this tutorial is for you. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by selecting the Apple icon near the top left corner of your desktop. And then you want to go select where it says System Preferences. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the Users and Groups button. And then you want to go ahead and select your current user here, whatever account you want to automatically sign in. And then select where it says Login Options. Now you're going to have to click the little lock icon where it says click the lock to make changes. So go ahead and left click on that. And then you're going to have to enter back in your password. So let's go ahead and enter that in. And where it says automatically log in, you're going to go ahead and click inside this drop down. Select the user account you want to automatically log in. And now we're going to have to enter back in our password to this account. Again, if it's a different account you want to set as automatic, you'd have to type in that respective account. Again, assuming it's an administrative account. And then go ahead and select OK. Once that is done, if you close out of here and restart your computer, it should automatically sign you back into whatever account you set as right up here. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.